So Lacey made a video about body shaming last week, and although I haven't experienced body shaming myself, I do have some comments. First though, a question. Hey guys, how do I look? How about now? Let me tell you how I saw it. There was no difference, period. So here's the philosophy I've been living my life under. If you don't like something about yourself, change it. If you can't or don't want to in any way, forget about it. It's not worth your time and energy to stress over it. Don't worry about it. Seriously, this quote has got to be one of my favorite quotes. I found it to be very useful when trying to build up confidence. Call me fat all you want. I don't care. I'm satisfied with this thing. Oh, I'm an outsider that doesn't understand how you insiders behave? Do I look like I care enough to join your group? Clearly you do. You just can't though. <laughs> don't worry about it. 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 <sighs> yeah, I guess you can say I don't really care about things I can't control anymore. I honestly don't know if it's for the better or for worse. For me, this mentality also applies when it comes to being a minority in, say, physics. Honestly, I've been told or have gotten the oh, you're a female, you can't do physics look so many times now, and I've just stopped caring. I'm doing physics because I like it. Does it really matter whether or not I belong? This video is getting depressing, so let's try to cheer it up a bit. Here's a quote that I heard from somewhere that I quite like. The good thing about being at the rock bottom is that there is no way but up. And that is exactly the direction my mentality has been going since I left China. China sort of sent me to the rock bottom, and although I did see hints of light, I've seen so much more since coming to the outside world to college. It's kind of like walking into the sun from the shade. It's weird, but now that I'm in a totally different pair of shoes, I've actually felt myself changing. I've grew out of the classes are everything mentality. I've been going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole that is my research. I've been able to schedule my time to accommodate all my interests. And best of all, I'm growing more and more confident of who I am as a person. It's only the second time I've experienced a degree change out here in the world, and I can't wait to see this more confident Alice after she's fully done with the transformation. So to everyone that's currently in my old shoes, hang in there. It's in those dark moments that you truly find out who you are, and trust me, you will be able to find the resources to help you down whichever path you choose. So, see you guys next week with the physics video. I've also been thinking a lot about what I want to do with my life, so I think I should be giving an update soon. I also want to do more robotics and rocket team videos. Also, I have all these ideas that I've written out on post-it notes. Tell me about having too many ideas and not enough time. Change it if you don't or can't or don't want to in any way. If you don't or can't or don't want to. <laughs> Nicely done, Alice. <laughs> Shut up. Physics. Also applies. I've gotten the...